To begin this week, we're going to meet photographer Deborah Powie. I would describe my work as bright, colourful, ambiguous. I think the work certainly tells a story, but it's really left to the viewer to make up their own mind at what the work's about. I think initially it was probably quite deliberate not to reveal the faces of my models. Initially, because I did photograph myself, I, I think there was part of me that didn't want to admit that I was the subject in my work. While it still is quite intentional, I think those reasons have changed. I don't feel it's necessary to reveal the identity of my models and I feel that by by keeping their faces hidden, you know, they, they become quite universal and, and they could be anyone, you know, they could be your sister or mother or daughter or um, anyone, and I quite like that. When I left art school, I worked as a photographic retoucher and spent very, very long days trying to create the perfect image. As enjoyable as that was, it made me realise in my own work that those are the things that um, I wanted to leave in and I felt actually made the work really successful by keeping those raw. Although you might be quite aware of what you're photographing, you never really know what that end result is going to be. And because I do print my work at quite a large size, I print up to almost two metres square. That process as well brings about an element of surprise. There was a photograph that I worked on where the model had a couple of bruises and cuts on her arm, which I didn't even notice. And that's what everyone was talking about when they saw the work, you know. And sometimes it's just pure luck that that happens. Um, sometimes you think, oh dear, you know, are people going to misinterpret it because that has happened? I've always been uh, very interested in the idea of dress-ups and I think I was always a, a bit disappointed that my mother never um, kept any of the dresses from the, the 50s and 60s. I sort of felt like I was missing out. So that's when I started my collection of vintage dresses which have featured quite strongly in my work. A lot of my backdrops are just from local fabric shops and, you know, they're fabrics that anyone can walk in off the street and buy. Quite often people will think that there's some, you know, very, very complicated setup, but there certainly isn't and, and anyone can do it. All my early work I, I shot in my bedroom at home. Would close my bedroom door and create my own little world, my own studio where I would pin up an old scarf or a piece of fabric onto my bedroom wall, set up the tripod. It's amazing what you can do with very little. My orange quilt cover became the backdrop for a whole body of work, which turned out to be quite successful. But everyone, you know, read a lot of things into this orange backdrop. And in the end, I said, look, you know, I just had to make do with what, you know, my quilt cover was, and it happened to be this bright orange. So that formed uh, the, the series of work. It's difficult to say at this point whether I feel um, having a child has had an impact on the sort of work that I make. I've had many people make comments to me about, you know, does this mean you're going to start photographing boys or is your son going to feature in your work? And, you know, at this stage and pretty much since he was born, I never really felt he would feature in the work at all, but you never know. I'm not a very confident photographer. Uh, one thing that I realised very early on when I was at art school is that I felt very uncomfortable um, being watched as a photographer. I, I like to work in a comfortable environment, you know, such as my home or a studio where I can control all the elements. I was commissioned by the National Portrait Gallery to photograph the fashion design duo uh, Sarah Jane Clark and Heidi Middleton of Sass and Bide. When I went to meet with Sarah Jane and Heidi, 
The first thing I said was, you know I don't do faces. And they said, oh yes, you know, we've actually, um, we're familiar with your work and we know that. For me, the, the most exciting thing about the photograph that I took of the girls is that it's not retouched and they look amazing. You know, you don't have to retouch photographs of people for them to still look good. It's always nice when you get positive feedback, but I don't always expect it. I really make my work for myself and, um, you know, if, if someone loves it, well, then that's an extra um, sort of positive, I suppose. Vanilla is...